You can find experts everywhere, but you can never find a visionary so easily. In our lifetime so far, we have seen probably more than or less than 10 visionaries. Some of them are still alive, some of them are no longer there in this world, but they all made a profound impact in our world. Let me start by talking about Windows operating system. I'm sure you have used it or probably you're watching this video on a Windows operating system, right? Or Android for that matter, right? All these happened because of some people who had that vision and they started early, right? And since they have worked in this economy for so long, when they make a comment, the whole world, including the world leaders also take notice. Now today, as we speak, in the world of artificial intelligence, we have three visionary leaders. One of them is Sam Altman of OpenAI. The second is Jensen Huang from NVIDIA. And the third is Bill Gates. Now, Bill Gates has a different category. These two are new entrants into this visionary category. But all three have time and again said that biologists will not be replaced. And the recent comment by Bill Gates has reiterated this fact that biologists, biotech researchers will not be replaced by AI. In fact, he has mentioned three professions. The first is coders. So everybody keeps saying that coders will get replaced. He clearly states that coders will not go out of fashion. Coding will never go out of fashion. Second is AI can never replace biologists in the near future. And the third is energy experts because energy expertise is a complicated thing. So of course they cannot be replaced. But I want to gravitate on the second part, which is biologists. But to some extent, I agree to Bill Gates, but on the when I because I see the larger picture here, I would also like to mention that biologists who are average people doing repetitive jobs, they have the risk to be replaced. But at the same time, smart guys who know how to use AI to accelerate their research will never get replaced. In fact, their demand will keep going high. The reason I am saying so because um, in our country, we have a lot of average biologists also. People who just did their degree and now they feel that they are entitled to get a job and they are very happy with the repetitive job. Like the sample comes in, they test it and send it back. That kind of job will get replaced with AI or it will become AI assisted. So you no longer have an option. Just yesterday, I was talking to a very well-renowned scientist. His name is H.S. Subramaniam. He is right now the Dean of Chanakya University. But prior to that, he has worked in Dr. Reddy's Origin platform. And he told me this very clearly, that Shekhar, I took this company from zero uh, crores to 100 crores in turnover. But I can tell you this, today and in future, you can't live without AI in your own normal life, just like smartphones. So how can you imagine that biologists will be immune to AI? They will never be. Now, having said that, if so many experts are talking about artificial intelligence and how it can be implemented in biology, and that's what makes you immune to getting replaced, the question is, why are you not learning it? If Bill Gates, who has seen it very early, see, he was the guy when he started his career, when Bill Gates started his career, a computer was highly expensive. It used to be a big building, right? He brought personal computers into fashion. His company has made cloud computing a fashion. He, his company has uh, pivoted multiple times and created so many products in computing. But today he is, while pioneering in AI, still says that AI cannot replace biologists, but it will assist biologists. So you have to learn bio biology and you have to learn AI, right? Now, having said that, another aspect you should know. AI is no longer just being used in drug discovery, drug screening, drug repurposing, or it is being applied in the most unheard of ways. It is not just being applied in agriculture or drug discovery. It is being applied in every part, whether it is microbiology, biochemistry, uh, radio imaging, uh, you know, agricultural crop produce increase everywhere and it is not generative AI, it is not chat GPT. It's all about getting all the data points, feeding into the AI algorithm or designing the AI algorithm and then it gives us the right output which helps 
the scientists make better decisions. It's like a word document, you write it and then you print it, right? Same way, AI is going to, is already revolutionizing the world of research in biotech. So much so that we now have our own CRO where our team is delivering results to companies in Sweden, in UK, in US and of course in India. And if you want to know more about it, you can go to cro.biotechnica.org. You will see all our scientists, how they are contributing and creating the newest platform called biotechnica.ai. Now, having said that, if you learn this technique, you will be either directly absorbed in Biotechnica's CRO arm or you will get absorbed or placed in other places. And that is the reason Biotechnica is starting its AI ML internship in Bioinformatics, Drug Discovery and Biology and the details are given in the description. It is starting from 25th of this month in April and it will be a month-long training followed by a project where you will get an opportunity to work with our CRO scientists. Okay, you will be working on international projects and you will be given a chance to publish your papers also. So what are you waiting for? All you have to do is click the link in the description and check it out or you can WhatsApp me directly. The details are also given in the description and comment section. So thank you so much for watching this video and remember what Bill Gates says has happened at least 95% of the times in this world. So stop thinking that you don't need AI. Start thinking how you can learn AI, how you can implement AI, how you can accelerate your career using artificial intelligence. I wish you all the best, all the best and best of luck, but don't stop learning. This is the start.